<laughs> Hello. I uh, <laughs> I went live a few minutes ago. Hi, Kerry. Um, and then it was it was trying to reconnect. I thought, oh God, I need to turn off some of the other things. So I went over to turn off my laptop, and um, so that I didn't have too many. I don't know where the phone is. Oh, I'm on the phone. <laughs> oh God, this is going to be one of these days. So, um, yeah, I went over there to turn the uh, laptop off so that I didn't have too many things connected to the internet. How are you? It is Friday. It's one o'clock. And if that means, of course, it's Facebook Friday. Delighted to welcome you here again. Please say hello. Tell me who you are and where you're joining us from. We have a nice little tutorial for you today. Um, the, we're doing foiling. Hi, Mags. Oh, Mags is right on time today. Good girl, Mags. Uh, we're doing foiling today. Uh, I know you've done this, Mags, but you're going to love what's coming with it. Um, and the reason I'm doing foiling again is because, uh, bad girl, bad girl, I have just not had a chance to do an actual video tutorial on it. And loads of you have been buying the foils recently. And, of course, I'm sending you off to, you know, American YouTubes and that to try and... Um, uh, see how to do it um, because I've not had a chance to actually do a proper video tutorial. Now I did do a live on this before. I'm going to do another one now. I'll upload it to YouTube and hopefully I will get a chance to do an actual just quick tutorial on it so you don't have to listen to me talking and laughing so much. How are you guys today? Uh, can you do me a favour please? Go down and press the share button. Let everybody else know we're here. I will be announcing the winners of the paint uh, later on today. I haven't had a chance to get the name sorted, but I will have that and I'll announce it in a post and on the original post from last week. Thank you guys so much for sharing it and for tagging Fleetwood. I'd say they're going mad with all the, um, all the notifications they're getting. Hi, Michelle. Okay, so let's talk foiling. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. So, you guys buy these foils, right? They come in patterns. They come in planes. This is the gunmetal silver that we're going to be using today. Here's a patterned one. I did this last time on the live. Do you remember the IKEA mirror? Um, we made that into a bit of a silver leopard skin. Um, which some people love, some people hate. <laughs> we also have the coming coppers and the old rose. That's the old rose one there. Can you see that? So they come in all gold, silvers. They actually come in zillions of colours. I'm just going to show you here, right? When I ordered these, I'm going to have stuff everywhere here. When I ordered these from the States, I got this sample pack. Look at this. And they come in all these colours, look, lime green, and all these patterns, amazing colours and patterns. I'm going to take that out of the way. Um, I couldn't get in all of these, obviously, but look, I wanted to introduce you to these foils before I started bringing in zillions of colours. Um, in case you just didn't like them, and then I'm in, I have a shop full of foils. <laughs> so, um, but I'm going to use some of these, hopefully, coloured ones today. But these are sample packs. I might even ask her um, for these sample packs and sell you these. What do you think? Would you use lots of different squares of them? But anyway, let's let's let me show you how you do it first, right? So, I'm going to do it on this board here which I have uh, painted in black, right? And I've added a molding to, ignore that because I've started it there. And then what I did was I added the glue. It's called size, right? When you're using foils or you're using gold leaf, the glue is called size. Can you guys see me all right there? I seem to be in a bit of a shadow. I don't know if I am. Um, and this is your size, right? Um, and it's a quite big tub. I have 10 fluid ounces, nearly 300 mils. It's 15.99, but that's it there, right? That is your glue. 
and when you put that on I usually roll it on uh, with a foam roller if the drawer or whatever I'm doing is big enough uh, hi Sandra from Texas woohoo um, but today I just used a foam brush and I put the glue on just on this bit that you, you can see it's a bit shinier than the rest of it so I just put it on here and I just put it on the molding because I only want my gunmetal silver foil to stick in those two places. So just like with gold leaf, if there's no glue on here, then the stuff is going to stick to there, right? So, shall we get on and see if we can do this? Okay. I'm going to move the camera down. Please let me know if you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to turn this around so hopefully you can see. Can you guys see that? Please tell me yay, nay. Yay, yay. Hello, my camera's gone a bit funny there. I'd like to steady that. No, anyway, can you see that? Okay, so I have the glue on here. I've cut off small bits of foil. I didn't do a big bit um, because they're just easier to handle when you're doing a small bit like this. Now, you've put your glue on, you've waited till it got tacky. You have to wait till it go tacky. You can't put it on when it's wet. And that will stay tacky forever. So if some of this foil doesn't release onto there, the little bits where the foil isn't, it'll still be tacky. So you need to um, seal it afterwards with a varnish, okay? So I'm always remember to the pretty side, not that side. The pretty side faces you. That's all you really have to remember, okay? So I'm just going to place, can you see it there? I'm going to place that down. I'm going to turn this down another little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to rub it. Pretty side facing me. I'm going to rub it down with my finger. And see, then pull it off. Now, it takes a little bit of strength, right? I have a big brush here for when I'm doing bigger bits. But that's a bit big to get in there. So I'm just kind of pushing it down with my nail and with my finger. If you had a small, do you know what would be ideal for this is um, a nail brush. But you see it's starting to release. And you can keep going back over it. Because where it doesn't take will still be sticky. So you just keep going back over it until you get the coverage that you want. But you have to put it down on a sealed surface. So... I always paint the piece first. Now, <clears throat> if you, when I, I used this copper foil one before and I painted it copper first. So it, if the places where it didn't take, you couldn't see that it didn't take because it was already copper. I had painted it copper. I didn't do that this time because I want a little bit of black coming through the gunmetal silver to tie in with the black that's on the piece already. Um, so you decide whether you want a full coverage or whether you just want um, it to take in places. I think that's lovely. So I'm gonna continue on here. Try and work a bit faster and stop talking. Because I know you guys are busy and thank you for joining me today. Can you go down and press the share button for me, please? Oh, I forgot to put on my microphone. Can you hear me okay? Uh, let me know if you can hear me or do I need to run and get my microphone. Um, so, pressing it down, only on the moulding, that's nice. I'm going to cut off another little bit here. And you see the way my moulding is becoming, oh, wrong way. See the way my moulding is becoming silver now. And I'm literally just rubbing it on like this get the foil to release and you see it's only on there it is on plastic so the foil is actually underneath that's why you need to be looking at the pretty bit as you're doing this I'll come back to your questions I can't see who's commenting or if you're commenting because the phone is looking downwards but I will come back don't worry so any questions you have please ask see how it's going on yeah so this looks pretty spectacular if you imagine this is a drawer, right? Imagine this is a, the drawer front. 
and uh, you've painted it in one colour and you want to highlight your mouldings uh, a different colour. Um, this is how you do it. Now, of course, you can do it with paint as well, but these, this is metallic. This is going to catch the light. This is going to look really different. Of course, you can do it all over the whole piece as well. I'm only just doing it over the moulding here for a second. I'm going to do this full beading here as well. Let me have a look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? What do you think? Do you like that? And as they go back over it, wherever you think you want it to take a little bit more, where you have the silver, and rub it on, like that. And then you have that. Now I'm going to do this full bit here for you, right? Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm gonna do this full bit here for you. And for that, I've cut a piece that is, hi Sam. Hi Janice, how are you Janice? <laughs> oh Janice, you would do make me laugh. Um, so I've cut a full piece to make sure I have the full length because one, a bit of trouble, I'm gonna just move this phone up a bit. Um, hold on. A bit of trouble that somebody got into recently when they were doing it was, they, they were putting it on a drawer and the drawer was too big for what they had. So they put it on in two halves but this line, see that line there? That came out as a line in the middle of her drawer and you don't want that. So think like your decoupage and your napkins. You know the way you tear around the image of your napkin because you don't want a straight line. It'll always look like a straight line. When you're transferring this, never go right up to this line here. Stop about here and then bring the new piece in. Never transfer a straight line. Easy really. Well, it's easy when you know how. I, I didn't tell the girl that, so I felt, I felt awful. But she did fix it. Okay, let's go back down and I'm going to do it on the big beading bit here, okay? So I'm just going to lay it down. It's not going to stick down here because I've no glue. So I'm just going to lay it down like this, okay, pretty side up, I want to try and get it into the crevices, I say if it doesn't get in the crevices initially, just lift it and get it down into the crevices, unless you want to keep a bit of black in the crevices, which is nice, it would highlight against the silver. Now I'm pushing it down like that, can you all see what I'm doing? and right over like this, okay? Now, I wouldn't be able to release all of that with my fingers, no way. So this is where I'm getting my two euro scrubby brush uh, from Mr. Price. Um, it's very hard, very hard floor scrubby brush. And I'm going to go along like this. This should release the metallic foil from the plastic. But as I say, this is not a one-shot go, right? You can lift it up and see how much released and how much didn't and get back down in here. Now this bit here is clearly not releasing, so I'm going to just emphasize that bit a little bit more. Okay, and then as I lift it up, oh yeah, this is much better. Now a little bit more there, I'm gonna put it back down and scrub a bit more. You'd think this is going to tear the foil because it really is a hard brush, but it doesn't. <clears throat> now, I always go in one line. Don't go that way and that way because you'll leave like brush strokes. Uh, and designs on it, always go in one direction. Okay, let's pull this off. Oh my God, this is spectacular. I love this so much. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can you see, I'll lift it up in a second. That is stunning. Now there's a little bit here, didn't quite take. I'm gonna just put this back down, give it a no scrape there and then get it back 
So now you can see where it came off. That's the clear foil that's left. That's the gunmetal metallic. So let me move this up. That's beautiful. Look at this. How stunning is that? How stunning and how easy. Oh my God. If you want your work to look so different to anybody else's that's out there, start using these metallic foils. Now, I want to show you this. See here, obviously I had had a little bit of glue run down there, right? Um, just paint over it. Paint over that if you don't want any of the black, right? Miss the start, do you need to apply the glue? Okay, go back. If you didn't see this from the start, go back when I post it on the page, go back. But this is your glue, it's called size, okay? Um, these are all on the website, shabby.ie. And you need to put that on with a roller or a foam brush, keep it as flat as possible, and then let it dry it, until it's tacky. It will always stay tacky. But uh, when it's tacky, then you apply your foil, and your foil must have the pretty side facing you. So if you're using a pattern like you know this one, uh, you need to make sure it's facing you. So, but isn't that absolutely stunning? I just think that's beautiful. So few people are doing work like this out there. You need to be doing work like this. Go down the bottom, please share. Let everybody else know um, how fantastically easy this is. I love that. I love that. That's going on my wall over there. I'll show you the other bits on the wall in a minute. Okay, so let's move on. All right, I've got something else to show you. Um, thanks for sharing, guys. Oops, a little bit late. Looks beautiful. Melissa, go back to the beginning. You have to use these foils. So this is the second one I'm going to show you, right? This is one of the new colours I'm trialling out uh, in my colour collection uh, because the colour we had before, the patina, was just a bit dark for me. So I want a lighter version. And uh, this is one of them because it's beautiful with, teal, with um, pinks. Now, I want to show you this, right? I've done two things with this board. Do you see this? This is a raised stencil. Okay, that is so easy to do. All it is, it's this stencil, right? So it's my vintage stencil. I get amazing value from my stencils because uh, the girl who designs these, she always makes sure that you don't just get to use it as, as one thing. You can use that on its own. If you want a line, you can use a line. But I use these top ones quite a lot. As you can see, I'm not very good at cleaning my stencils. <laughs> I'm getting better. I now have a basin that I, you don't see any structured paste on there. No, no, I cleaned that. This is kind of old paint. <laughs> but anyway, this is what I used today, right? And I used my modeling paste, a uh, huge, big, fantastic, big one, um, through the stencil with this. Uh, a palette knife or you can use a credit card. Now I have a full tutorial on that uh, on the advanced uh, course, the advanced painting furniture course on our, on our website. Um, it's the uh, book artistry tutorial. So have a look. That might even be on the freebies. I don't know. Uh, but have a look. So um, it, 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 very easy how to do 3, 3D um, stencils. So there it is, right? See it? How gorgeous is that? It looks like, um, uh, well, what does it look like? It looks like, looks like a carving. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm going to put foil on that, but I also want to show you this. Isn't this beautiful, right? This is a glaze that I made up myself, and I want to show you now because you're not doing enough glazing, guys. And glazing is amazing, right? Glazing is amazing. Where's my... So, you see this? This is clear base, okay? I'm sorry, it's backwards. So it's glaze effects in a clear base. I have two, four, six, I have eight, and maybe four. I have about a dozen of them left, okay? And all I did, that is the medium that you add any paint or stain into, and that will make a glaze for you. So what's the difference between glaze and a paint? Okay, well if I, 
I wanted to put a glaze in there. So if I was just to paint that gold, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't just go in there, it would go everywhere and it would be very hard to get off because it would cover the paint as well. But I painted this up, I put a little bit of varnish over it, any little bit of varnish, you can even use your decoupage varnish, because that helps to the glaze to move, okay? And then all I did was I put a little bit of the clear base, tiny bit, look, tiny bit. You can just put it into a yogurt pot. Tiny bit of that and a little bit of this cheapest chips gold acrylic, right? Paint. So a tiny bit of that paint into that clear base and it created a glaze for me. So I'm gonna show you how to use this glaze now. Okay, let's go back down. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry, the light is... Now, can you see that? So, I want to put a little lid or something under there to prop that up a bit. Okay, so can you see what I'm doing? So, I'm going to get this glaze now and also make sure you have a wet or a dry cloth in your hand. So I'm going to just put some glaze out onto my brush, okay, like that. And I'm going to rub it along the groove. I'm not going to worry too much that it's going outside of the groove um, because it easily wipes off because it's glaze, okay. So then I'm going to get my... I'm not answering that now. So then I'm going to get my cloth and I'm just going to wipe off what I don't need. Okay, can you see that? Isn't that absolutely stunning? And you can, of course, leave some on and dry brush it over the flat bits like that to add a little bit of gold over your paint. But if you decide, oh, I don't want that, just take it off with your dry or your wet cloth. The wet cloth takes off more than the dry cloth, obviously. And then it just sits in the grooves like that. But you can make up any color at all in that lace using the clear base. So if you wanna go on and look, it's called Glaze Effects Clear Base. Okay, and just mix it with any cheapest chips bit of uh, paint or stain in any color that you want and you make your glaze. Um, I just think that is, oh my God, I love that so much. Look at that, that is stunning. You know, you have, you're painting beautiful pieces of furniture. This is how you give a really professional finish and how you accentuate uh, some of the grooves and carvings that are on that piece, okay? Now, this here, because this is a structured paste, uh, this takes about four hours to dry. And when I say dry, it has to go rock hard. I don't know if this is completely rock hard. It, is, it was white, I very gently painted it to match, and I did put some size on it. So I'm going to have a go at putting the um, the foils on it in different colors. I don't know if it's going to work. I might have to stop because um, as I press down, I might wreck <laughs> I might wreck my structured paste. But I'll have a go. Um, seeing as we're live, and if not, I'll show it to you later when it's done. But let's have a little play, shall we? Can you see that light is shining in now? any better can you see let me know if you can see that guys i'm not sure if you can see that let me move some bits out of the way here okay maybe that's a bit better i'll put something underneath there to make it stand up i put a lid under there okay okay can you see that yeah let me know say yeah 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 let me know if you can see otherwise i'm just talking to myself Okay, so I'm going to get my little square of gold and I'm just going to press, because I want to do different colours, I'm going to press it onto the raised area of my structured paste 
and scrape it a little bit. I don't want to press too hard, as I say, because I've only just done this structured paste. So um, I don't want to flatten it down. Oh my God, this is looking gorgeous. Oh, I love this. This, actually, I am going to get in these sample packs because with all the, look at that. Can you see it? It looks beautiful. Um, I'm going to keep going while I talk because um, these little sample packs will look, will be amazing for small little jobs like this. Um, accentuating small carvings. Oh, this is just gorgeous. But I'm going to use a couple of colours on here. Start with the gold to tie in with the gold glazing. But imagine this is a drawer front or the uh, mouldings at the bottom of a big piece you're doing. Look at that. Oh, oh it's just beautiful. And it's only going on the raised areas where I put the size. It's not going anywhere else. I just put the size on the raised area with a tiny, tiny brush. Oh, that's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to move on to another colour now, just to show you that you don't have to use one colour. Let's move on to a, move on to a teal. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? So, pretty side facing me. Just lean it down onto the size and press and scrape a little bit. Oh, God, that's gorgeous. Oh, these are beautiful. I'll wait till you see this when it's done. It's rubbing and it comes off. I really could do with a small little nail brush here for these. This one is so sparkly. And this is what I mean. You just don't get this with dry brushing paint because these are metallic. Light reflects off of these. I, see, I can't see any questions. Sorry if you're commenting now. Yes, 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 yes. I love the teal. Isn't this beautiful? I know. I'm really looking at this colour for my collection. Because um, it's so good. Now I'm going to move on to another colour. I'm going to put in a little bit of this strawberry. What's it called? Waterfall pink. I'm going to try a little bit of waterfall pink. Just to give a pop. Like, oh, God, that's gorgeous. I'm making ridiculous sounds, aren't I? Sorry. <laughs> Just, I'm just so impressed as I go along. I'm just, you know, when you're doing something, oh, some projects are horrendous and they go awfully wrong, and others just are fabulous. We won't mention pumpkins. Now, if I move this around, oh, this is just lovely. Oh, so this is like. Oh my God, this is artistic. This is just stunning. I can't wait to show you. I hope you can see all this. I'll raise it up in a second. I'm just gonna put a bit of silver as well um, while we're at it, just to show you all the different looks you can get. Press it down. Oh, this is gorgeous. Uh, this is so incredibly delicate. And they're not layering, but they are sitting right beside each other. So, now let me see if I can show you this. Hold on, I'm just going to put another little bit of silver here to match the other scroll. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Let me show you this. Put this up. Um... Even makes a lovely nail varnish. It does. It does make a lovely nail varnish. <laughs> you'll see people do on YouTube, you'll see people do their nails in metallic foils. But have a look at this. Can you see that? Look at that, using all the different colours and the seconds that took. Now you could just do it in the gold to match that gold, but I wanted to show you the different colours that they come in. I'm going to do a bit more of the... Um, the tea, the deep blue, I think, in that um, to bring in oh, wrong way, and then maybe a bit more of the gold from the uh, to t 
tie in the gold glaze. So have any of you ever made your own glaze before? Or are there any of you out there who still aren't glazing your furniture? And if not, why not? Is it because you don't know how? Is it because you're afraid? Why are you not glazing? God, this is just amazing. You, I tell you, if you saw this in real life, I just love this. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Isn't that stunning? Look at that, it's so pretty. Can you imagine? I mean, I've seen people hand paint carvings in different colors on the furniture. Uh, you don't have to do any of that. You can just, just do your foils. Do your glaze in whatever color you want and do your foils in different colors. How stunning is that? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I'm a wizard. Pauline. <laughs> no, I'm not a wizard. <laughs> Honestly, if I can do this, you can do this. This is, this is so easy. It's child's play. It is, <laughs> it is putting glue down and sticking a bit of foil on it. Honestly, this is not rocket science. But the, um, the results you get are incredible. The results make you look like you really know what you're doing. Doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah, gorgeous. I want some. Yeah. Amazing. You just have it. Now listen, lads. I'm telling you, it's, it's, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Um, but I am pretty pleased with this one now. I have to say, I need a bit more gold on that. Though. Oh, listen, do you ever do a project and you keep going back and back and back? You have to know when to stop. But I do think it needs a little bit more gold tying in with the gold glazing. So I'm going to see if there's any size left on there that isn't covered. See, I'm getting bolder now. Look at this. The uh, structure paste obviously is gone quite hard. Now, if I'm, I'm pressing away here, not an awful lot is taken, which means I've pretty much covered all the glue that I had put on. But I can put more glue on. I can put more glue on here if I want to uh, release more, put on more gold. Do you know what I mean? It's really forgiving, lads. You know, you can just play around with it. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. What do you think? Pretty, 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 pretty fabulous. Pretty fabulous. Now that's a bit way out because I did loads of colors, but you don't have to do loads of colors. You know, you can just do, um, now I only showed you today how to put the foil on lying flat there is another way of doing it you can take your foil like this scrunch it up right create crackles like that and then you pounce it on and that creates a completely different look and you can pounce on three or four different colors and that's what i did with this board over here hold on a second till i get it Okay, so this board here, right, I put the old roses on there. I pounced three or four different colours, do you see that, of the foils on there. And then again, I did structured paste on here. And actually, the gold in that structured paste, that's only those little metallic um, pigments that I have. I just put a bit on my finger. And that looks fabulous now, doesn't it? But that actually <laughs> came out of a real mess up. I had messed up the foil. It was one of my first attempts at it and I'd messed it up really badly. Um, but, you know, you just keep going. So I just ended up pouncing and, and that's what it ended up looking like. And that gets a lot of attention uh, in the shop. So let's recap. There is your uh, gun metal silver um i want i want a range over in that color someday before i'm 80 and i can't drive anymore a range over in gun metal um but there's the gun metal and that's it put on the uh molding but if you don't have a molding but you have loads of stencils get yourself some structured this is a coarse paste it's called modeling paste that's on the internet as well on the website and create yourself your own little um, 
uh, raised stencil and put the, the glue, the size on it, and then just put lots of different colored foils on it. Or pounce it on like this one. Pounce it on loads of different colors and uh, get completely different looks. So I want you to start playing with them, but most of all, I want you to start making your own glaze. Even if you never touched foils, you should be glazing and putting, look at that. Oh my God. I mean, that took me two seconds there, you saw that. So get yourself the clear base, glaze effects, clear base. Take some of it out and, and don't make that one color. That'll do you millions of colors, if you know what I mean. So put that into a yogurt pot and throw in a bit of stain or a bit of paint or a bit of whatever you like and make your own glaze and create this. Okay? Thank you so much for joining me today. Please go down and give me a share. Let everybody else know we're here. I will announce the winners of uh, my new paint later on today. And um, I'll talk to you during the week. Thanks for joining me on Facebook Friday. Bye-bye.